when I woke up today, I had this vision about relationships and using hands as a symbol. I was thinking about the idea that a solid relationship, they say in geometry and physics, the, the construction world, that the triangle is the, is the most sturdy shape. There's a real strength. Now, there might be some theorist who has some exception to that, but for the purposes of this, the triangle is the strongest shape. <laughs> so, a strong relationship in which both people are on the same page, they're clear with each other, they're open, honest, they have the same values, not necessarily the same, but compatible values, and there's trust and safety there, that is like this. That is like just a strong upward kind of symbol. And there is a resting into the other because you know there's a security there. And then in a relationship in which there isn't that kind of safety, then if one crumbles, then the other falls. Because you cannot lean against something that is unstable. And so it's important to make sure that there is a fundamental compatibility in terms of your goals, your values, your purpose, if you expect to have that kind of security in life. And as an individual, if you do fall, or if you are, by yourself, then you could be like this. You could be tight and, and protect yourself as an individual by staying in a somewhat clinched state to feel more safe. But this is not true safety. The true safety is to be like this as an individual. And as they talk about the, the willow tree, being strong because it can just, you know, adjust to the wind, it's not rigid, it doesn't break, then just whatever happens, you just you go with it. I heard uh, Eckhart Tolle speak recently about um, one of the teachers that he likes, Krishnamurti. Um, the reason that Krishnamurti said he doesn't suffer is because he doesn't mind what happens. <laughs> And I like the, the additional meaning of that, doesn't mind what happens, doesn't fixate in the mind. I mean, here it is, all these experiences around us, all these things going on, and we can bring it in and let it be here quite a bit, or we can stay here and have somewhat of an energetic boundary and observe and witness and even respond to, if a response is necessary, what is around us. But, we can also just kind of stay put, roll with things, or just be still. <laughs>